This is a web brief from the National Weather Service in Elko. This brief is an unofficial local outlook for the winter of 2014 to 2015 across northern and central Nevada. First, a quick review of last winter. Ridging predominated over the southwestern United States, keeping the region warm and dry. Storm systems brushed northern Nevada, but tended to avoid areas further south. Precipitation ended up a bit below normal, with a more noticeable warm trend. Here are the water year precipitation anomalies across the United States during the past three water years. All three were generally drier than normal across the western United States in general, and Nevada in particular, though this was certainly more pronounced three years ago than it was last year. The past 12 months were actually very close to normal across northeastern Nevada, a significant improvement from the previous two years. Nevertheless, due to the two prior back-to-back -back dry years, Nevada remains in a significant drought. Most of our region is listed to be in at least moderate drought, with western areas in extreme to exceptional drought, as depicted by the U.S. Drought Monitor. So, will we see an improvement to the drought this year? Possibly. Let's take a look at the clues we have locally as to what kind of winter we will have. First, we'll review the El Nino Southern Oscillation Phenomenon, called ENSO for short. El Nino and its counterpart, La Nina, refer to the periodic fluctuations in water temperatures in the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean compared to normal. El Nino refers to periods when the waters are significantly warmer than normal, while La Nina refers to times when the waters are significantly colder than normal. The unofficial term for near-normal water temperatures is La Nada. Why do we care about water temperatures way off in the equatorial Pacific? Well, as it turns out, the water temperatures can have a significant effect on jet stream strength and position due to the changes in thunderstorm activity over the equatorial waters. During El Nino, stronger thunderstorm activity over the warmer waters translates to a stronger jet stream in the southern United States, with a weaker northern jet stream. This often, but not always, results in greater moisture across the southern United States and warmer conditions across the northern United States. During La Nina, weaker thunderstorm activity results in a weaker southern jet stream and a stronger northern jet stream. This brings more moisture into the northern areas, which often couples with greater cold air, while the southern United States tends to be drier than average. Nevada is on the border between significant ENSO regime effects, so strong correlations for El Nino and La Nina are not present. However, the tendency across the Silver State is for wetter winters in southern Nevada and drier winters in northern Nevada during El Nino, with drier winters in the south and wetter winters in the north during La Nina. Drier than average conditions are prevalent across much of the state during La Nada, or neutral conditions. Temperature correlations are very weak, but a slight tendency towards warmer conditions exists during El Nino and La Nada, with a tendency towards colder conditions during La Nina. So what is the current ENSO strike? Latest indications from the Climate Prediction Center show a trend towards weak El Nino conditions, both in the sea surface temperatures depicted here over the last year from left to right in different parts of the equatorial Pacific and in the atmospheric circulation. The latest computer prognostications indicate that a weak El Nino has a good chance of developing in the near future. However, due to the weak nature and uncertainty about the longevity of the warmth, a full-blown El Nino is far from certain, with only a 58% probability of developing. As mentioned already, there is both a warm and dry tendency with weak El Nino in Nevada. Just taking a look at, at Elko itself, during weak El Ninos, including November and March, temperatures tend to average above normal while precipitation averages below normal. Of note is the possibility shown in the graph previously, which suggested that an El Nino may fail to develop. Taking a look at neutral positive winters, the probabilities of a warm winter decrease, though precipitation trends are essentially unchanged. Combining all winters which started with warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in the tropical eastern Pacific, including both those which saw El Nino develop and those where it failed to develop, the dry tendency is strong, with a much weaker warm tendency. So what else could give us a clue? Some other atmospheric phenomena which might give us a clue as to how the winter will unfold were also reviewed. 
These include the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO, the Pacific North America Pattern, or PNA, the Arctic Oscillation, or AO, and the Quasi-Biennial Oscillation, or QBO. The Pacific Decadal Oscillation is, in a sense, the Northern Pacific counterpart to ENSO. It is the tendency of above and below normal water temperatures in the Northern Pacific, with the phase dependent on temperatures immediately off the west coast of Canada and the United States. It is currently in the positive phase, and based on previous years with similar readings, it's very likely to remain positive through the winter. This gives us a clue as to how the winter will unfold. In winters with similar PDO values to this year's preceding them, Nevada overall had a tendency towards drier than normal weather. Temperatures were a mixture of above and below normal readings, resulting in essentially no correlation. The Pacific North American pattern, or PNA, is essentially a numerical description of the strength of the ridge over the western United States. When it is positive, a strong ridge is present, generally resulting in warmer and drier conditions, while negative values indicate a trough with cooler and wetter conditions. It should be noted that PNA trends leading up to winter are not of great value as they often change and were generally unpredictable in the long term. While not the most valuable source of forecast information, the most recent PNA values were used to correlate upcoming winter trends. During winters following October's with moderately positive but declining PNA readings, there has been a moderate dry tendency across the Silver State along, along with a modest cold tendency. The Arctic Oscillation, or AO, is essentially a numerical representation of the strength of the polar vortex over the North Pole. During the positive phase, a strong Arctic vortex exists, while during the negative phase, the vortex is much weaker. This has significant effects on mid-latitude weather, but is difficult to forecast in the long term. However, based on the strength of latest readings, odds do favor a negative AO through the winter. Comparing previous years with similar readings and looking at how the following winters turned out, we can see that there was a weak warm tendency over Nevada, but a rather strong dry tendency. The quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, refers to the periodic reversal of winds in the stratosphere above the tropics. This affects the stratosphere north, further north, which in turn affects the lower atmosphere. The QBO is fairly predictable and is strongly in the negative phase indicating easterly winds predominate at present. Based on previous years, the QBO is likely to increase to near neutral through the winter. In previous years where the autumn featured a strong negative QBO index, the following winter featured cold weather overall. A slightly greater than normal probability of drier than normal weather also exists during such winters. If you match up the previously discussed long-range predictors as closely as possible, we get four best matches, winters 76-77, 79-80, 0304, and 12-13. This is not really a statistically relevant sample size, but we plotted these winters together to see what we these four winners suggest slightly better than average odds of warmer than normal weather. There is also an above average chance of below normal precipitation during the winter. The bottom line is that a majority of analog years based on teleconnections leading up to winter suggest drier than normal conditions are more likely this winter, meaning the drought will likely continue. Temperatures are uncertain, though the warmer than normal analogs have a slight edge. It must, however, be remembered that this is all a probability game, and the weather has a way of surprising us. Nothing is ever certain in the long term. And, of course, it must be remembered that our outlook presented here is an unofficial forecast. The most recent official long-term forecast for the winter period from the Climate Prediction Center indicates a greater-than-average chance of above-normal temperatures across our region. The most recent official long-term forecast for the winter period from the Climate Prediction Center also indicates equal chances of above, near, or below normal precipitation across our region. This has been a web brief on the upcoming winter outlook from the National Weather Service in Elko. For your latest weather information, including watches, warnings, and advisories, direct your browser to weather.gov Elko. Thank you for watching.